Hey guys, good morning. It's six thirty a.m. today, and uh, where have I headed? All dressed up. I'm going to Mysore. Why I'm going to Mysore? That will be in the next video. This video is all about why I got the BMW 3 Series 320D E90. Uh, I'm planning to put some shots while I speak. So hope you guys enjoy that as well. So let me start off. So initially, uh, why I sold my cruise was. Uh, actually, I had no plans of selling my cruise. I had it on the back of my mind that you know someday I might sell it and upgrade to a different vehicle. So you guys know very well that I recently got my car serviced by myself here uh, locally. So the link to that is here. Uh, when I got the service done of the car, I had not put a scanner to check any faults. So I usually check. all the time like after every due service that is after 10000 kilometers or if a uh, christmas light pops up i do check uh, do regular checks uh, with the obd too so i was going to mysore and uh, i decided to drop by uh, to imran uh, you know him very well from my video uh, link to that here he's a uh, fast car care imran he's a really really amazing guy very talented guy he can look at a car and tell what's wrong with it i'm not even kidding by in this he's really good so i went to him asked him to hook up the scanner and uh, check if there are any faults and uh, he did it by the way i'm really sorry for my hair i have to get a haircut <laughs> okay ignore that uh, so yeah uh i asked him to hook up the scanner and do a check and uh, he did it and there were no fault codes in the car so and while driving to mysore i was thinking wow this guy is such a beast why would i even sell it and all you know guys i love my cruise so yeah uh, and then what happened was uh, casually while speaking to mr imran i just told him uh, imran bhai if there is any 3 series you let me know because i've been looking at a prospective buy uh, three series a jetta or a passat so uh, if any of these come by you let me know so it's like halle niti dal ache which means uh, there's one park right outside that's for sale why don't you go give it a test drive so i went out uh, the car was uh, parked uh, he gave me the keys uh, i sat inside pristine condition uh, it was the it is a 2010 model and uh, i sat inside the car and uh, my brothers also sat inside we slowly drove and uh, mr imran's roads are really bad so i just took it slowly and uh, the suspension was really good uh, they have put a 65 high profile tire to the car so that uh, the stiff suspension of the e90 is compromised with the tire so compensated with the tire not compromise sorry uh -huh. so compensated with the tires so it was a good ride so um, uh, we were casually discussing me and my brothers like how much is the horsepower so i told them it is 183 bhp with 350 newton meters of torque or 380 newton meters of torque so they asked me like uh, so it's as powerful as the cruise i was like yeah maybe i don't know let's see this was my reaction so we went and i took a left and the roads are good there so what i did i hit the gas pedal completely and uh, uh for a second there was a small lag like until the turbo kicks in after that what the hell was that guys my god the rpm just flies to the end and the gear shifts are not even like, you cannot even make out the gear shifts the automatic uh, this the dual clutch system that this one has mind blowing the driving experience music loud and i'm feeling alright it's low motion but it's just you and i all thanks to these guys who gave me a beautiful car these two masterpieces right here <laughs> So really happy with the BMW. Thank you. Bro. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Bye. Okay. So officially the keys to the BMW. Okay. Thank you, bro.
Hey guys, so it's been a few days after I got the car. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know. Whoever follow me on Instagram surely know it because I've uploaded a photo of it last Monday itself. Uh, so yeah, uh, am I having a good time? I'm having a blast with the car, guys. I'm having a blast. I can't tell you. I'm so happy with the vehicle, the performance, and all that. Uh, yeah, if you're looking at me, you'll know that I am come. Completely sick. I went to the doctor today, and the doctor said that I have viral fever, so I'm taking tablets for that. Uh, coming in regards to the car, uh, there are a few mods that are going to come your way in the next video, so I'll be showing you what mods I've done to the car already. So I'm now going to, you know, completely soup it up like uh, my cruise. I'm going to keep it like a luxury sedan. Uh, answering a few questions: Why did I go for a old bmw instead of going for a newer vehicle like a jetta or a passat that is because of the driving pleasure in this car it's like a space shuttle i'm not even kidding and uh, this e90 has a lot of uh, you know things that can be done to it you can mod it the way you want and everything is just you know uh, plug and play so that's why i thought that this is the best car suited for me and you guys know my man imran bhai he suggested that go for a bmw instead of a volkswagen or a audi or a, um, such cars because they are very electronically equipped and they are a headache the electronics keep conking and you you guys watching instagram and all that know that whoever owns a volkswagen or a audi have these uh, electronic issues they keep on talking about the christmas these. lights coming in their dashboard so that is the main, that is one of the main reasons i didn't go for a passat or a jetta this car uh, may be a 2010, but it goes like a rocket, guys, I swear. Uh, I'm not even kidding. Coming from the cruise, that to a tuned cruise, I still feel this is ultimate. It is a rear wheel drive car with 350 or 380 newton meters of torque. Turn off the traction control and you'll be drifting, guys. I swear, this is so powerful, so good. So, am I enjoying the car? I'm absolutely. I'm having a blast with the car. So I just love it. Uh, did I make a good decision? I made the best decision because, yeah, I've always wanted to own a BMW. 530D is my dream car. I want to buy it. Obviously, the bigger ones are my dream cars, but you know, for a practical daily driver, I always wanted to pick up a 530D. And uh, five years down the line, I might go for an electric vehicle because electric is the future. You guys know it. So I thought uh, if I'm going to switch to electric, I don't want to spend all the money right now buying something very expensive. And I don't know what the diesel, uh, I mean, norms are going to come up uh, by the government and these rising fuel prices also. I don't know what's going to happen. So if I have to switch to electric, I, don't, I shouldn't waste all my money right now is what I thought. And that's why I went for this vehicle. And... This is worth every penny spent, guys. This is the most amazing machine I've driven. BMW is BMW. It's a space shuttle. I'm not even kidding. I just love the driving pleasure in this vehicle. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't disappoint all of you because I am not disappointed. I just love the vehicle. Lot of videos coming your way. Uh, next week or very soon, I'll be uploading all the mods done to the car, uh, which I wanted, which was very essential for me. After that, I will need some time to upload. I don't know when I'm going to upload next after that video because uh, as you guys know, I'm getting married. So once that is done, a uh, lot of road trips, a lot of vlogs coming your way. So stay tuned. Like, share and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really sorry for my face and my voice. I'm totally gone, guys. I have fever and all that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.